Welcome to the eCenter Site Failover Demo. In this demo, we will show how to failover an eCenter site to a remote site. The eCenter Management Console provides all the tools required to manage site failover, site promotion, or site demotion. The eCenter system used for this demo is replicated to a remote site. The current site is called Test Failover. The remote site is called Test Site. In the Test Failover site, we created a pool and a share called Test FS. The share is accessible from any Windows client. To failover this site to the remote site, select the site and click on the Failover menu item. Note that this operation can only be performed by an eCenter administrator. The Tasks in Progress panel shows the progress of the site failover operation. In this demo, to illustrate that the site has indeed failed over, we have used an IP address to access the share. The IP currently displayed is the IP of the test failover site, which is no longer live. The share is therefore not accessible. In a production environment, users would reference a share using a DNS name. eCenter automatically updates the DNS settings during a site failover. Failover has completed successfully. The share on the test failover site is no longer accessible. Let's change the IP to the remote site. The share is now accessible on the remote site. In addition to site failover, you can also fail over individual pools. This may be required in case of a hardware failure of a particular pool. When failover is required because of an unexpected disaster, the eCenter administrator can promote a site to become the primary site. This completes the eCenter site failover demo.